Hello! So I love the idea of monthly favorites videos as a good sort of catch-all place to just talk about stuff that you enjoy. However, I know that the second I decide to commit to doing that, I will get into like the second month of it and discover that I have lost all joy in life and nothing has meaning or more likely I will just find that it is such a chore that it loses all of the magic that makes me want to do it in the first place. And so I have decided that I'm going to go with the format but reframe it without any sort of time constraints. So like I'm going to do a thing now and maybe I'll do it next month or next week or never again. Who knows? So today, here is a numbered but not actually ranked list of things that have made me happy in some relatively recent amount of time. First up, oh, I should say that I am also doing this because a while back I made these numbers for a video, uh, mmm, but you know, I have them now so I have to become a person who makes list videos. Anyway, first up is Glow. I watched the whole thing in an afternoon and it was just fun. It's got some issues, uh, but watching these women, both as characters and also the actors, uh, engaging in something that just appeared so joyful was a blast to watch. Like it was a solid use of a few hours of my Saturday. Most of the finale looked like it was just magical to be a part of and there's some really cool featurettes of the cast like behind the scenes learning to do all of their stunts and stuff. Uh, it's great. It's a wonderful show about ladies wrestling on Netflix. I didn't tell you what it was first. Now I did. Okay, great. Second is So You Think You Can Dance, which is a reality show that is what it sounds like. And I have not watched it since coming to Missoula, uh, but I used to watch it all the time. And then I discovered that it is one of the great perks of my Hulu membership. And now I'm just so happy that I get to watch talented people's dreams come true and hear awkward commentary from my reality TV parents and like occasionally cry at people's beautiful, emotional, moving backstories. It's great. Number three is this incredible video that Taylor made, which someday I'm gonna have a list, a playlist on my channel that's just me being all, so Taylor made a great video and blah, 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 blah. Um, but so Taylor made a great video. It's just a great video about our feelings and about how we devalue them and probably we shouldn't, but it's told through the wonderful personal story poignant message format that Taylor is so incredible at. Four is a fantastic video that Sophie made about putting her art up on her walls. She's uncomfortable even calling it art at the beginning of the video, which is silly because it's great and it is art, um, but just this idea of creating things and surrounding yourself with those things and valuing the things that you are creating enough to do that uh, is just inspiring and beautiful and made my day. Finally, number five is a glorious Game of Thrones version of the opening number from Hamilton. I have not been able to get it out of my head and it makes me happy how freaking good it is. And if you like Game of Thrones and also Hamilton, you should listen to it slash watch it. Okay, that's all. Tell me about good, happy-making stuff. Okay, bye!